Hey, good morning everybody. I hope your day is starting out amazing. As always, my day is gonna be very busy. First thing I need to do today is get the Blue Tongue Skinks in hibernation. Uh, I'm about two weeks behind. I'd like to have them down today if at all possible. And then I have to feed a bunch of other snakes and then work on some breeding stuff with the pythons. Uh, and then we'll just see what else comes up because I'm sure my days are always that way. So uh, what do you say we get started? First order of business is to mark the blue tongues, the ones that aren't going into hibernation, because we do have a bunch of extra males and some uh, some animals that we just don't necessarily want to breed for because it's a specific bloodline or whatever the case may be. So I'm just going to mark the animals that aren't going into hibernation. Uh, so that means I have to go through basically every single cage, make sure I look at them, make sure they're in good shape, and then decide what goes into hibernation and what stays here. And by the way, for those people that are saying they want a blue tongue, the ones that don't go into hibernation. Some are going to make it onto the BHB website and we're going to sell them, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I, uh, I showed you guys a bunch of blue tongue skinks the other day, but this was real. I hadn't shown you these guys. I work with these. These are actually called Key Island, which are a subspecies uh, of blue tongue skinks from a particular area, and they're just very unusual compared to most. And some of them are like orange, like this one. Some are more green. They definitely have a much more like scaly, rough back. Uh, and really a very different animal. But again, this is, uh, this is a pretty cool animal right here. And uh, I work with a group of about eight or 10 of them. I just thought I'd show you guys how cool. Now these don't hibernate. They come from the area that stays warm. So we're gonna keep these up out of hibernation. And you just kind of cycle them a lot like a pipe. Just a couple things as I was going through, they were just absolutely gorgeous. Now, I produced a bunch of skinks last year, and these are just a few of them here that I wanted to show you off. I mean, take a look at this little guy here. This is a little caramel here. Look at how cute he is. I mean, it's just such a neat little animal. And then, of course, I produced some sunsets. This is a, a, a sunset here. And of course, I produced this sunset as well. Look at that one. That one's got some flaming orange. That thing is just beautiful looking. And then I also produced this guy here, which is a sunrise, which is just the more yellow. I want to show you one last thing that I didn't actually produce, but uh, man, this thing, this is a project I'm working on that I am super excited about. I just hope I can reproduce this as a, as a line bread trait potentially. But uh, take a look at that animal right there. Whew. It's like just like super pink and beautiful looking. Oh, and this is a male, so I definitely am going to have some females out breed specifically to this. Probably, you know, something that's a little bit faded and see if we can get them going. So anyways, I have everything marked. There's probably about 15 or so animals that will go up on the website for sale here probably within the next week and the rest go into hibernation. Today is always the big feed day, so I have a lot of ball pythons to feed right now. Remember that time when I time-lapsed a snake eating and then I walked away and forgot that I had the snake cage open and I time-lapsed the snake escaping? Well, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So let's see if we can find the snake. Oh, there it is. It, it's right up here. Hello. <laughs> now the question is, how do I get it? There you are. Stay right there, bud. Stay right there. Oh. I'm not sure yet. Maybe. No, no, no. Oh, oh. This is a disaster. All right, so, all right. Somehow I've got to get this snake. Come on, don't bite me. Uh oh. Ah, ah. Come on. Do you want to grab a snake hook and just like <laughs> you could just uh, uh, it's right over there, and you could just play with this tail so that it moves. Oh, wait, it's starting to move now. It's starting to come up. Oh. Uh. Come on, keep coming. Keep coming, bud. There you go. There you go, keep coming. 
Ah, 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 come on. Come on, keep the, ah. Awesome. <laughs> Way to go, huh? Do me a favor. Don't don't ever do that. <laughs> do me a favor. Do, do don't, don't ever do what I did. <laughs> Well, the good news, she ate. The, the other thing is, is I had her on film escaping, so I'm sure I could have probably found out where she was. So she's back in her cage. Way to go, Brian. Really quick, guys, I want to touch on a topic that's been kind of going around the internet the last few days. And it started with PewDiePie talking about vloggers that are always positive, and he called it forced positivity. Now, there's been Casey Neistat talked about it, some other vloggers have talked about it, and I've had a few comments on my videos, so I wanted to just broach the subject really quickly. Number one, of course we are trying to be positive. I am a person that tries to always be positive in life. Does that mean that there are days that aren't great and that things go bad? Of course there are. But I don't think you guys want to watch that, right? I mean, when things aren't going well, if me and Laura are at each other's heads or something goes on with an animal that makes me upset, you guys don't want to see that. I mean, you don't wake up in the morning and see someone bitching and complaining about life. For me anyways, I want to watch, you know, TV shows or, or YouTube shows that, that make me feel good. And, and, and like I said, I'm not, I don't want you guys to think that I'm being fake or phony because the truth truth is, anyone that knows me knows that I'm always trying to be as positive as I can, trying to, to overcome things. But, but that being said, there's certainly times where I get overwhelmed and that things don't go well. And those are the days that I tr just don't vlog at that very moment because I just don't know that I want to share that with you because I don't think it's something you guys want to watch, you know? But I want you to understand something. I think that we've got to be careful when we talk about forced positivity because, yeah, are there fake people? on YouTube and television and movies, of course there are. But a lot of people that are in my position that are daily vlogging, they're, they're trying to be honest. We're just taking the best and most fun part of our day and sharing that with you. And maybe the more crummy or boring parts, we're kind of leaving on the cutting room table, you know? That's one of the advantages we have, right? Is that we can watch our day and then we can pick and choose what we want to share. And sometimes we do share things that maybe I think this isn't going to be good, but we share them and sometimes you guys like them and sometimes you don't and other times we decide not to share them because we think we don't want that message out we want people to feel good about themselves good about us and and so anyways I just wanted to phone call so I just wanted to kind of cover that really quickly because I don't like when people are saying, oh, your forced positivity is bad for us. I think it's rubbish. I mean, I want to feel good. I want you to feel good. And I'm not being fake about my attitude towards life. So anyways, I just needed to cover that really quick, guys. I hope you guys don't mind. All right, I'm back to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do an Instagram live right now. I do lives maybe once a week or so. And sometimes I do them on Facebook. Sometimes I do them on Instagram. But today I'm going to do it on Instagram. By the way, you can follow me over at SnakeBitesTV uh, on either Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I'll just go spend a half hour or so hanging out with you guys. But of course, as you're watching, this will be too late, so I won't be hanging out with you guys. But maybe I'll hang out with you guys next time. I am wrapped up here at the shop. Remember about a month ago when I said, tomorrow I'm going to go see Rogue One? Well, life had a way of getting in the way. A way of getting in... That didn't sound right. Anyways, I just got busy. Tonight, I'm going to see Rogue One. Later. Once again, my plans to go see Rogue One got screwed up. Oh, come on! But that's okay, because I got home and we're puppy sitting my daughter's puppy, so Lori decided she didn't want to go to the movies. But to be honest with you, I don't get a lot of opportunity to be home, so this was actually a great night. We watched some scary movies and we're actually about to watch another scary movie. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And by the way, if someone hits that notification thing and then writes in a comment, what I say to get out of this vlog, I'll go ahead and pick somebody randomly and send you guys a signed picture or something like that. So go ahead, hit that notification, tell me how I normally end the vlog, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.